someone's in here. Someone on a low vibration. Water, that's all I remember is water. <sighs> it's only been in. September 14th. Oh, it's only 1.34. What did I do? What did I do? It was my day off. Yes, it was my day off. It was my day off. I was so excited. I it, it, The day was planned. I did my... I did... I, I uploaded most of my projects. I mean, I spent most of my day editing and uploading. And I completed one. But that was the longer one, so the shorter one would be easier. But I, I broke up the day, I broke up the day I went to. Decided to take a walk wasn't really part of the schedule, but it was. I went to the mailbox. I was going to look for my cousin's gift. Went to the mailbox. It was fine. I didn't interact with anybody. I went back. I went into a new shop. Felt fine. Fine, that's where I got my cousin's gifts. I got myself a couple things. Spent a little too much, but but really for what I got, I thought it was a good price. Went back. Bookshop. Went to the bookstore. I interacted with her cousin, with her, with their their friend, the owner. Bookshop. Medicine for nightmares. One of the owners was there. He finally recognized me. He said hi. And he's like, you don't have it me. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and he's just like, I, I, he's like, I thought it was you, but I wasn't sure. And then we, we started talking for a bit. I bought a lot of books today. I wanted to get them a gift card. A gift card to... I didn't know if they sold but I didn't even ask. I didn't ask because I got so distracted with the books. And then I decided instead of getting them a gift card, I was going to buy some books that I was being called towards to do a play on words with the titles of the books. And two of the three books that I plan on giving my cousin... I ended up reading one the one I stayed up late reading was called The Lovers. It's called The Lovers by Marguerite Dudas. She's French. And I hadn't read it. But I was eyeing it yesterday. <laughs> and I in my write up for my for my cousin I put I became jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I became jealous knowing that I had bought this book for them but that I would be left lingering with her with 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 her secret right the book secret and so I uh, decided to dive in I decided it's a very short book I'm halfway done but I stayed up late that was the last thing I did stayed up late to read it because I, I want to finish it. I want to finish it. I'm, I'm seeing them tomorrow for the camping trip. 
So when I got back from Medicine for Nightmares, I kept working, ate, snacking, I just kept working, and then would read, and then got distracted with their, I'm doing a letter. I think it's a beautifully written letter. And I decide, I'm deciding to, to give them some of my poems as part of the playoff words. I created a new title for my next collection of poems. Uh, put it down. The Key to Humanity's Heart and Other Simple Moments of Awareness written by A. Light. <laughs> that was cute. A. Light, me. A dot light. <sighs> That's all I did. <laughs> I didn't know that I watched TV. At any point did I watch TV? No. No. No, I didn't. I didn't. It was only the book that I read. Halfway through, I'm not done yet. Very limited interactions. But I wasn't low vibing. That's the thing. I wasn't low vibing it. It was such a great day yesterday. So I don't know. I mean, the book itself is really sad. The lovers. But the dream. There was more to it, but that's the only scene that I remember is the fear of water. Fear of water. The, but it... There was a feeling that it was a, a mixture of fear. It was a, a, a fear of the ocean, but but it was a mixture of my fear at the same time. One of, I mean, I. One of uh, the fears that I, I I want to conquer is the fear of the depth of the ocean. Um, like, uh, learning how to scuba dive? Scuba dive? Yeah. No, not scuba dive. Deep. Um, when you put that thing on and you go deep in the ocean, it's not scuba diving, is it? Maybe it is. I think it is scuba diving. Scuba steep, yeah. <laughs> Learning how to, um, going into the depth of the ocean. And then one of the things that I said once was, I want to go into, I don't know if I said it, I thought it once. One, I, I have a fear of sharks. And I wanted to conquer that by going into a cave a cave cage in shark infested waters and slowly that that idea is like meh, meh, I could do without <laughs> I don't need to go into the into the ocean with sharks <sighs> but in this dream that's that's the one there was more scenes but that's the one that stands out the most and there was this feeling of like I, 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 uh, like a, kind of like a redo, but not really. There, there was just this feeling of a redo. But that's the one thing that stands out. Is, is being in the water, walking in the water. So I'm, I'm like walking underwater. And there's this, so I'm in the water first. Briefly, I'm in the water. And I know that there's this depthness in the water. And I'm just walking in, like, at the sea level. There's almost this feeling like I'm close to the, the sea level. in But in the depths of the water. And then there's this feeling of, like, I'm there, but then... I'm, I see myself from a distance 
and then up ahead, up above, and I look down and I can see that there's sharks, or, or uh, there's a shark approaching. So there's almost this, fe the, just the fear, the fear of water. That's the only thing that got evoked. And the fear of dying. The fear of water and the fear of dying. So I don't know if it was just symbolic, but that was the fear. The fear of, of water and the fear of dying. There's another scene after that. And I'm in a room. It's it's one of my other colleagues, my, my old co-workers. She's there. She's there. What is she doing? She can sing or something. There was something. God, wasn't it so clear in my mind, but I, I don't know how to interpret it. But there's something about singing and there's something about the fear of, of Singing? No, oh, the, the fear of uh, <laughs> singing. Singing? The, uh, fear of singing. Or uh, it, it. The scene was about singing, but it wasn't at the same time. The fear of singing, the fear of the... I think it was singing. But there was, uh... Gosh, it was just... It, it seemed so... It was just fearful. There was fear. There was just fear. And the scenes that followed right after, there was just this feeling of fear. <sighs> so I just, I'm moving on. After that scene, uh, it's in the bedroom. I don't know, I don't think it's this bedroom, but it's set up, uh, that's blurred, it's just the bed. This is not here. And that's when I feel the spirit, or whoever it is. I, I feel them, I feel them. I was completely covered though with my blankets. I was having a hard time sleeping. I mean, it's only been like an hour and a half. Maybe two that I've been trying to sleep. But the, the spirit or, or the energy, the energy was trying to come to the bed, was trying to... Uh, trying to come closer to me, trying to... I, I didn't know who it was. They were trying to come closer to me. And, and and I was fighting it a lot more. I was fighting, I was fighting it. The, ugh, the image, the image that stands in my mind is like if they're trying to approach the bed and I'm already sensing them, I'm already sensing them and they're trying to approach the bed and, and I'm, I'm already trying to fight it. And they're trying to come closer to me there was this fe the the fear it was just fear they were trying to to come closer to me but i'm fighting it and it's almost like i could see them or they're like approaching but then because i'm i'm alarmed they step back from the bed this it, it, there was just this feeling of like trying to get close but I'm I'm shaking and I'm I'm saying no and I mean I didn't say no I was tr I was trying to get the words out I was trying to get the words out 
but the I saw them get close but become startled there was, there was this feeling of they were startled that I had become startled and they stepped back but then they, they approached again so, so there was this feeling of approaching and then stepping back but all I felt was fear all I felt was fear and that's how I know it, 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 that's how I knew it was a low vibration because I just felt the fear I just felt the fear it was really strong and it was this 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 motion this motion like like they were trying to get close I got startled and I was like no 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 and, and that pushes them away because I'm fighting it but there's this feeling of like I want to be like they wanted to come close to me they wanted to be close to me but I, I, I kept fighting it back and then there was almost a point where they even sat at the bed because I, I, I sleep like this like a across and they sat at the bed instead of like the first one it felt more like they were coming towards me on the bed and then the second and then they pushed away I pushed them away with the fighting and then they came and then they sat right here so now it wasn't and they there and the, they weren't coming toward but I could it was like I startled them And then they went back, and then the I think the third time it was hovering over, like not on the bed, but just like hovering over, and 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 at that point I was like no 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 no, and then I was trying to remember the words, I was trying to remember the words, and I was trying to wake myself up, so I was fumbling with my words, uh, forcing myself up to try to say the words loud, like no one of the vibes is allowed in here. Like, no, like, go away. No one will blow by. And I couldn't remember what the words were because it's been a while. I, don't, I wasn't low vibing it. I wasn't, I don't, I don't, I wasn't sad yesterday. So I didn't attract them. I know I didn't. Damn it. And I was going to go back to sleep, but then I remember the last time. I remember the last time that I didn't record it. The last time I didn't record it, it was you. I was like, it was you. It was when you were latching on. That was the last energetic experience I had. You were latching on to me. But in that one, I... I recognized... Like, it, it took me a bit, but I, I recognized you. That was the last energetic experience I had that was of low vibration. Lower vibration. The anxiety. But it was more... That one was more anxiety. More, this one was fear. This one feels different. I don't know if that was you or it was someone else, but it didn't feel good. It just, it, it just, I, it was just fear. And I, I, I couldn't tell, that's a thing, I think that's why I'm struggling with it because I couldn't tell if it was mine. I couldn't tell if it was mine or someone else's if it wasn't you but the scene it, it, and I think that's why I got confused because it was the feeling of fear of water because I'm also afraid of the depth of the ocean like I think that's where the confusion was but at the same the funny thing is at the same time as I'm experiencing that scene and the realization in the dream that I'm afraid of water there's confusion in my mind. There's confusion in my mind because part of me is like, I know nothing bad is going to happen to me. Why am I fearing 
water. So, so there's this internal conflict with what I'm experiencing in my dream. I'm like, but I know there's this feeling of fearing death. But at the same time, the inner conflict is I'm like, I know I'm not afraid. Unless I am. Or unless it's being highlighted for me to heal. I don't know. I thought I just, I was gonna dismiss it and just try to go back to sleep, but it was just too, um, a clip from my video diary entries where I'm documenting my healing journey as I learn how to navigate my spiritual awakening. I have learned that this experience and process is unique to each and every one of us in whatever way we are embracing living our truth. This just happens to be my journey. And despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of formal mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, um, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself as these experiences unfold and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, please know that there is a time gap between when these videos post and my real timeline. And also that these clips build upon each other similar to chapters in a book. So if you find yourself lost or confused, feel free to click on the playlist section or the link below um, where you can jump around, check out the other chapters and or catch up. Um, also, please know that um, you're more than welcome to check out my website, www.youbecominghealed.com, where I've gathered all of this information, my background, experience, um, and education to create online self-paced courses to help you on your healing journey wherever you are. You're also more than welcome to check out my other YouTube channel, at You Becoming Healed, where I've entertained a podcast, including clips from these courses so that I can make this content accessible to more and more people um please click like subscribe and share this content so again it reaches more people with the hopes that other people will resonate and connect with the healing journey and the stories shared so that they don't feel alone in their own process i thank you in advance i'm grateful to you and um i wish you well